and you can see here um, the camera is already recording now if you open the folder you see the videos here if you click the video and you can see here it's playing a number of Xiaomi security cameras can record a backup video either into the internal storage of a PC or laptop or to an external storage attached to the computer. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing super tanks. Here's how it is done. If you have enough space on your computer, you can just create a folder on any drive where you should save the videos from the camera. You can also save the videos from the camera to a dedicated storage like an external drive. In my case, I use an old 500GB hard disk from an old Acer laptop. I place the hard drive inside this enclosure which also serves as its adapter and can be connected to the PC via this uh, USB cable. I prefer to plug the hard drive onto the USB port at the back of the PC since I am installing the external storage on a more or less permanent basis. I reserve the USB ports at the front of the PC for other uses since it's more accessible anytime. Once the external hard drive is connected, you can start the setup and configuration. Open the file explorer from your taskbar and look for the external hard drive. It can be found under this PC. Here the external hard drive is named as Acer. Open the drive and create a new folder. I'm naming it as Camera Video Backup. Right click the folder to go to its properties. On the sharing tab in the properties, click the share button. On the pull down menu, look for everyone and tap add. On the permission level column, choose red slash right so that everyone in your house has the ability to modify what is inside the storage. Otherwise, you can choose read only. Then tap share button below. The folder is already shared. You can close the open folder. Going back to the sharing tab on the properties, click the advanced sharing button below. Be sure the box on the share the folder is checked. Tap the permissions button below and allow all permissions by checking the boxes. Then tap apply or close whichever is applicable. Now that you have already set up your backup folder location, you also need to configure the PC so that it will allow sharing. You need to enable SMB 1.0 because Xiaomi cameras need it. Open control panel, choose programs, and choose turn Windows features on and off. There's a shortcut, type on the search bar, turn Windows features on and off. On the Windows features window, scroll down to SMB 1.0 file sharing support and enable it. Click OK. You'll be asked to restart the computer. Click restart to complete the changes. To ensure there's no glitch in the computer sharing settings, check the following. You need to set your network status on private, not public. In case it's public, change it by going to settings, go to network and internet, click properties and select private. Hit back to status page and scroll down to network and sharing center. Once inside network and sharing center, on the left pane, Tap change advanced sharing settings. You can see three network profiles, private, guest or public, and all networks. On private network, turn on network discovery and also check the box below it. Turn on file and printer sharing. For all networks, turn on sharing so that anyone can read and write files in the public folders. Also use 128-bit encryption and their file sharing connections as recommended. And finally, turn off password protected sharing. Then save changes to close the window. Now that the network storage on the PC is completely set up, time to configure the NAS on the Mi Home app. I have four cameras at home. Um, I have a magnetic camera, I have the C400 camera which I place uh, in my, on, in my, near my stairs. Then I also have the old 360 1080p camera and I also have the Mi 2K Pro camera which I place it in the kitchen. Then among the four, only two are capable of recording videos on a network storage or NAS, network attached storage. It's the 1080p 360, the old uh, Xiaomi 1080p, and the Mi Toki Pro. So if you open the uh, 1080p camera, you can see here, 
uh, you go to settings, then you check manage storage. You can see here NAS network storage, but it's great because uh, I don't. The camera for now has no memory card. You should put at least the minimum SD card on the camera in order for the NAS network storage to uh, function. So let's go to my uh, Mi 2K Pro because it has a net, uh, SD card. So I open the Mi 2K Pro, I go to Manage Storage, and you can see there the NAS network storage is already uh, um, in bold letters. Uh, the storage, in my case, the name of the PC where the NAS is located is Paolo. Just tap done if you wish not to create username and password. Look for the folder for the NAS. Here, I earlier named the folder as Camera Video Backup. Um, it says here, transmission is normal. It means the camera is now sending videos to uh, my external hard drive. Um, below, it says here, video storage. If you turn this uh, switch off, the transmission will be paused. So better turn this on so that the transmission is continuous. Uh, even if you are going to uh, exit from the app. Then, video lens settings. Um, I set here one month. You can actually set one week. Or you can set one month again. Or you can... Uh, set your uh, recordings on your uh, hard drive up to three months, six months, or one year. Okay, so I choose one month. So it means that the uh, camera can only record uh, up to one month of uh, amount of videos to the PC to or to the external hard drive. Then time interval between uploads, um, you can choose live, so I choose live. So at this moment, the camera is transmitting videos to my external drive. You can also choose one hour or every other hour, uh, the camera will transmit videos or you can choose every other day, it's up to you. Data storage settings, um, this is all about the uh, uh, storage, so it sees here. You can change the storage name. This name, this uh, this is the name Paolo, my the name of my uh, son's uh, PC where I put the external hard drive. Then you can change the storage directory. I put here the camera video backup, which was the name of the folder on my uh, on my uh, external hard drive. So I'm not going to change that. And you can also delete videos from history. If uh, the video is more than one, one month, then you can also delete. And you can delete this network storage if you want from the app. On the PC, um, the camera is already recording. Uh, it started recording at 10.12. Then it's now... 11.16, so that's 11.16, that's 11.14, 11.07, 11.06, 11.04, 11.03. So in other words, if there's no interruption, then you can uh, continue recording uh, every minute of the hour. So you see here, now if you open the folder, you see the videos here. If you click the video, and you can see here it's playing. Take note, the camera continues its recording on the micro SD card. Whatever recordings on the card will be synced to the network storage according to the set duration. Recording pauses when the PC is off, but will continue to sync once the computer is back online. You can connect other capable Xiaomi cameras to the network storage using the same process. I have inserted a micro SD card on my 360 1080p camera and we'll see how it's going to record videos to the network uh, storage. Remember, this is the second Xiaomi camera in the house that is connected to the NAS. So I will go into the managed storage, then the NAS network storage here. Take note, the NAS network storage is already in bold letters because um, it recognizes the uh, SD card. Let's configure this one. Again, we'll go to the storage location of, of my uh, NAS. 
Then there's the network storage album. You tap that. And this is it. So we'll just configure this one. Uh, one month also. Time interval is live. Okay. Data storage. So you don't have to change the, the rest. Okay. So the transmission here is normal. And we'll check the PC. Uh, and let's see how is the recording. So you can see here inside the network uh, storage um, album for the Xiaomi camera videos, there are already two folders and I believe one of these is the latest uh, camera that I connected to the NAS which is the 360 1080p. This one is the 1080p. Okay, we'll check. Okay, that's it. We'll try to rename um, me 2K Pro. Okay, me 360 1080p. So at least by renaming the folders, we could easily uh, go to the particular folder where we want to. Uh, check the videos Okay, that's it If you like this video leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel